Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Fight to Survive. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this tabletop RPG, where you use your martial arts to survive the mean streets of New Hope City and create a legacy, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the turn order. Each player character gets a chance to do something, a turn, unless they are prevented from doing so by in-game circumstances, such as being knocked out or having an emotional breakdown. A player character does not get another turn until all other player characters in the playgroup have had one. Then the cycle of turns repeats. How long a given turn takes and how much a given player character can do within that time can be anywhere from the time needed to exchange a few punches on up to a whole in-game calendar year. The length of time may be constantly shifting one cycle of turns to their next and back again. Certain rules prevail, however. All player characters share the same length of time within a cycle of turns. One player character cannot be in a fight using moves versus moves when another player character is resolving their months long majoral campaign using by the numbers in the same cycle. The Game Master will warn you if the length of time necessary to resolve what you propose will be greater than you might expect, because it will mean the other players may have to adjust what their PCs are doing during the same time allotment. The cycle of turns, therefore, is as long as the longest player character's turn. For reference, a single session of Play for Fight to Survive, which in real life takes about 4 hours to do, is expected to advance the in-game calendar by about one to three years. I would recommend that instead of having the Game Master warning the players considering the length of time necessary to resolve the actions, it is better to handle this in session zero and follow those guidelines or protocols throughout the rest of the campaign. I bet that by reducing this out of character talk, you can accomplish so much in perhaps only two hours. For reference on roleplay, please check out my actual play in the description. It is not a fight to survive actual play, but you can understand how roleplay proceeds in that session. In all cases, in this game of fight to survive, the order of player character turns is determined by the builds of the player characters. That is, small build goes first, then thin build, then medium build, and so forth. Build determines turn order in several ways. When the Game Master is going around the table asking each player what does your character do? Oh no! <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a link in the description to the beginner's guide to tabletop role playing games. Okay, do not, do not pay attention to this part of the book, please do not. Okay. Your character's build will also affect anything related to reflexes, movement, and marching order. When it comes to the turn order structure, this is defined if the situation dictates that one player character's action is going to immediately instigate rapid change. It's important to note that the Game Master places the non-player characters on the very same turn order track from smallest to biggest. Most external factors in Fight to Survive that are not singular human opponents tend to be circumstances that are necessarily slower or faster than the player character fighters, and so fall before or after normal turn order. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about by the numbers. This is all about the moments of action related to the use of numbers in challenges. When it comes to this section, the turn order is quite simple to understand, however, there are some things that need correction, I would say this is a potential mother may I conversation fiasco. So just follow the indications of the turn order and if you need more information please check out my beginner's guide to role playing games, it's going to be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching this part of the review and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And...
see you later.